always love to read these insider articles about celebrities who talk about their grand homes and how they have fresh flowers delivered every single day. Well, that idea of fresh flowers every day might sound a little luxurious, but really you can find inexpensive bouquets at the supermarket and put together your own flower arrangement so that you can enjoy them week after week and they really add an impact to your room. It's one of the easiest ways to add color. So I'm going to show you how easy it can be to put together a floral arrangement. So to get started, I'm gonna take green foliage and use that as my layering base. So this greenery is going to act as my base layer. So I'm gonna kind of just see first of all what my height is once it's in there. And it's really already a pretty good size. Maybe just trim it a tiny little bit down there at the bottom. Remember to do a nice clean cut and do it on the diagonal so that your fresh stems will drink up all of that water. When you have really full blooms, like a hydrangea, you wanna keep those down and low. So those stems are going to need to be cut a little bit shorter. And those will fill out the base of our rustic metal vase really nicely. All right, so we have some height here from our filler and our greenery. We have our base layer with our beautiful full hydrangeas. And now we're gonna add our color, those shades of yellow and blue I was talking about. So I have a couple of beautiful lilies. Again, give those a nice clean cut. Stick those into place. Look how pretty that is already. And try to balance it out so that as you're looking at this from any angle, you're going to see elements of your design, elements of the foliage, elements of that base layer, and elements of the pops of color that you're putting in. Here's some of our delphinium, our beautiful blue. Add those in. These will give us some nice stocks of color. You know, I think so many times people buy just a big multicolor arrangement, they snip off the ends and they plop it in a vase and they wonder, how come it doesn't look so nice? It just takes a little bit of effort and a lot of it is trial and error, but also it's nature. So it, there can be some imperfection in the mix. All right, I need a little bit more pop. So that's where we're gonna use our filler flowers. I've chosen Gerber daisies, one of my favorites. And I love these little baby daisies. This is my mother's favorite flower, so I always like to use it if I know she's coming over. Really the nice thing here is, wherever you see an empty space that needs something, you can fill it right in. And then here, these are kind of those wispy layers, very airy, that you can just stick in wherever you see fit. I'm gonna put one more. I feel like I'm a little empty right in this spot. Let's take a little bit of a different kind of daisy and pop that in. We're all, it doesn't matter if the flowers are all different. Again, as long as they're staying true to that color story that we started with those primary colors, our yellow, our blue, they mix together for green. And that's how easy it can be for you to put together a beautiful, full, and lush floral arrangement that will make over your room and make it feel beautiful for the season. Mm -hmm.